All right, this is my second video on the Fenord project. This uh, one is just a redo uh, intended to be much shorter than the other one, which goes into more detail and shows kind of some corner cases. And I was concerned it might be a little bit too long for uh, a submission for Kansas Fest, Hackfest 2020, uh, in which you create hardware or software hacks that are related to the Apple II. Uh, so this is my submission, Fnord, uh, and I'm just going to showcase it without too much discussion. Um, there will be links to the project and where you can get a copy of this disk image and that sort of thing uh, in the description. Um, all right, and I'm not going to waste time letting you read this. Uh, I'm just going to get right into it. There's a number. The point of this project is to sort of hook and... Um, and um, hack the output of characters to the display. So by running ver these various things, and of course the hello file at the top is a basic program, and that's not one of the filters, but all the other files here are filters, and you run them with the command brun. Um, this is a Apple DOS disk, so uh, you know no dash command. Uh, brun, let's try mix case. And I'm just going to run the informational message that appeared at the start. So you can see that it just alternates the case of the letters as they're displayed. And this applies just as well when you are typing. Although notice that the case of the output doesn't match the case of the input. That's because the input is actually exactly as I typed it and, and not as it appears on the screen. This is just an output manipulating uh, series of functions. Uh, you can type PR pound zero to restore sanity. Uh, or you can also uh, hold control and press reset to warm boot basic and that'll do the same thing as far as the as far as the output is concerned. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We've got Mick case, let's try Fnord. And Fnord uh, intercepts the carriage returns and every time you type a carriage return or one appears in program output, uh, then you'll see a lowercase snord at the end of the output. Okay. And of course, here's more fnords. Uh, I'm going to be run HL spaces, which is a very simple filter. And I'll just run the output again and you can see exactly what it does. And of course, when you run something like list, it does the same thing there too. All of these work with that. Uh, let's see, we've got HL spaces. How about double? And you can see this doubles all the characters. If they're letters, um, then it alternates uh, upper and lower case. Um, it does not double the carriage returns so that it doesn't add extra space between lines. It's already doing that by stretching them out horizontally. Um, and yeah, you can type, you know, this nonsense here and it's going to work, sort of. Um, because again, the input isn't actually the same thing as what's showing on the screen. I typed a normal print command. It shows up as doubled, but it's fine. Uh, control reset and... What else we have? We have Leet, which um, is an homage to the Haxor script kitty uh, kind of writing that was popular at some points in the late 90s and early 2000s. And uh, finally here. This one's one of my favorites. Um, it adds A, B before every vowel, uh, except for successive vowels that appear together. So, you know, double uh, has an A, B before the O, but not before the U, and then it has another A, B before the E that follows it. And this is emulating um, kind of a talking code, a, spe a spoken code that is sometimes used by, say, parents that don't want to be understood by their children, although I always found it um, a little too awkward 
to uh, to really uh, uh, to to use effectively. So there we have it. That doesn't look right. So those are my filters, uh, and there will be a link for the disk image and and for the GitHub project and all of that. And thank you for watching.